figure shows the velocity graph of a 75 kg passenger in an elevator. What is the passenger's apparent weight at t is equal to 1 second, at 5 seconds, at 9 seconds? Okay, this is a multiple concept question. I'll show you what it is. He's asking us to find out the um, passenger's apparent weight. Apparent weight is here we have to write um, elevator. Elevator means what is happening in an elevator. Suppose if this is the elevator, the person is here. Then what happens? The elevator may be moving up, down, like this, the things will happen. Now you have to uh, write the equation. So what happens here? Here the FG acts downwards and then FN upwards. And then this may be the acceleration may be up or down. Okay, so Axel, instead of giving the acceleration, in the question they gave the um, velocity time graph. Okay, the slope of the velocity time graph gives the acceleration. Okay, now he is asking us to find out the apparent weight at three times t is equal to 1, t is equal to 5, and t is equal to 9. What we do is we will find out the acceleration at these time uh, points using from the graph. Okay, so acceleration uh, t is equal to when t is equal to one second is equal to now acceleration you know a is equal to uh, rise over run. Okay, here rise over run means here uh, this is the um, delta v divided by delta t rise over run. Okay. Now here it is, what is asking t is equal to one second. t is equal to one second, this is four. Okay, four minus zero divided by one minus zero, that is equal to four meters per second square. Okay, now a at t is equal to five seconds. That is equal to five seconds. It is a flat slope. So the acceleration is equal to zero. Next, a, a acceleration when t is equal to 9 seconds. At when t is equal to 9 seconds, the negative slope. Okay, so the negative slope means here, this is, uh, we'll let it let it be, um, what we will take 2, we will take halfway between 4 and 0. No? So I will take 2, this point, and then this point. So uh, this will give rise over run now. So, minus 2 by time interval is 1. Okay, so this will give minus 2 meters per second square. Now, I will write the force equation. What is the force equation? Sigma Fy is equal to Fn minus Fg is equal to uh, Ma. Okay. Now, uh, Fn is equal to, uh, I, I will substitute the values here. Fg is equal to Mg. He is asking us to find out Fn. Okay. So, Fn is equal to Fg plus Ma. Okay. Since we know Fg is equal to Mg, I will write Mg plus Ma. Or Fn is equal to M times g plus a. Yeah. Now I will substitute the way of values here. So at one second fn is equal to what is the mass? 75 kilograms. 75 kilograms times g is equal to 9.8 plus acceleration is 4. Okay. So this will give a value of 1035 newtons. Okay, at 5 seconds, Fn is equal to 75 times 9.8 plus 0 gives, what is the value? 750 newtons. Okay, uh, now at 9 seconds, Fn is equal to 75 times 9.8 minus 2 is equal to 
what is the value? 585 newtons. This I will check. 7.5 into mm, 75 into 9.8 is equal to 735, not 750, 735 newtons. Okay. 735 newtons. So these are the values. So these, these are the values when the elevator is moving with a vela with a acceleration. Okay. The acceleration instead of giving directly, he asked us to find out from that graph. So this is the answer for this question. Okay. This is a multiple concept question based on the uh, you know, motion in one dimension and the forces. Okay. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.